All right, welcome back to Daddy's Kitchen. We are back for another episode of Denny, Daddy, Daddy, of Daddy's Kitchen today. How are you feeling, Daddy? Good, great. Wonderful, wonderful. So, tell the people what are we making today? We're making the salmon and shrimp pasta. In the cream sauce. In the cream sauce. So salmon and shrimp pasta in a cream sauce. And you're making the cream sauce from scratch? Yes. Okay, you guys. So if you've ever wondered how to make your own cream sauce from scratch and have a fire pasta, this is the episode for you. Okay, Daddy. So where are we starting? First, we're gonna get our seasoning. Season the salmon and season the shrimp. Okay, so we have our shrimp here in this bowl, and then we have some salmon cut up in, uh, you would say what, dice? Oops. In cubes? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. And then we have all of those spices, spices. lined up, Daddy, because you're so cute. All right, so we have, this is the lineup. So we have seasoning salt, we have flavor rice, we have ginger powder, garlic powder. I think this white is pepper. white pepper. This is fish seasoning. This is all purpose seasoning, gar garlic plus, and onion powder, and a little bit of vajita. You guys already know how we feel about our vajita, okay. We're gonna put all of these spices. One. Okay, so I've been noticing you've been doing that a lot lately, Daddy. So you're mixing the seasoning, seasoning first, then mixing it up, and then putting it on whatever meat or fish that you have. Okay. Spoonful. I love this fish seasoning. It smells so good, you guys. What brand is that again? Cool Runnins. Cool Runnins. Okay. I have no black pepper, so I use white pepper. White pepper? You're out of black pepper? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So it goes sometimes. So it goes sometimes. So it goes sometimes. You're right about that. Garlic. You know how I feel about my garlic. Yeah, fresh garlic over there too. Mm -hmm. A little ginger. That's a flavor in ginger. Ginger is supposed to bring out the flavors of everything else, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is brand new. Brand spanking, you guys. Brand, brand new, good for you. <laughs> Your favorite kind. All right, so that's some flavor rice. If you guys are unfamiliar, if you're new, then you you won't know that this seems to be Daddy's like signature spice seasoning. He just loves this brand, flavor rice. It's actually really good. Puts it in almost everything. Puts that bad boy on everything. Yeah. Okay, wait, what was that last one, Daddy? Seasoning salt. Seasoning salt. This is a different brand of seasoning salt. I'm not used to this brand. I feel like you guys always get a different brand. Yeah. Try new things. All right, so you mix all of this up. And you get this beautiful, beautiful concoction. All right, so what's next? <laughs> oil. And why are you putting oil on the salmon? Keep it very moist and hold the seasoning. Okay, so it holds the seasoning and it 
it keeps it moist. Interesting. Mix it all around with your hands. Same for the shrimp. Then the seasoning. Mix it up. And obviously you guys would have wished wash wished. You would have washed your hands already, right? So what made you decide to make this tonight, Daddy, for dinner? Your mother. Oh, mommy. Mommy was feeling it. Yeah. Okay. So give the lady what you want. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be really good. It's going to be really good. It's going to be good. Of course. Always. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Pop your collar. <laughs> He's so funny, but always. Yes. Uh, you can know I'll tell the people then. Always. Always be good. And always wash your hands. Right, Daddy? Right. All right, so we are moving on to the next step. So now we are at the stove. Then you just put a block of butter inside the pot. Now you're adding a little bit of oil. Are we making the sauce in this pan? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, so this is how you are going to make your cream sauce from scratch, y'all. So if you... Chopped garlic just went into the pot, guys. Chopped garlic just went into the pot. It smells so good. Oh my god. I just feel like dipping my bread. I'm greedy, but you know. Smells so delicious. Smells so delicious. So we're stirring. Don't let it burn. Don't let this garlic burn. Okay. No burning. So what is the stove on right now? What is the heat? Hi. Hi. Well, I, see, some I see some of them getting a little brown now, Daddy. I know you're going to bite your own words. Turn it down to medium. Turn it down to medium. Daddy just turned it down to medium, you guys. Mmm. Smell that, baby? It smells good. Add my tea. So, 35% cream. 35% cream. So, a whole liter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, add some milk to it. 2%. 2% milk also? Okay, so we stir, 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 stir. So what's next? Seasoning. Seasoning. Okay, so you got it. So you guys see, all this sauce, even the sauce, has to get seasoned. Yeah. Okay, you can't just white pepper. Some white pepper. There'd be black pepper in this here if you did have black pepper, though, right, Daddy? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you guys add your black pepper. Put a little more. 
garlic. A little more garlic. Because you never, you can't have enough garlic in my opinion. Onion. Onion powder. Okay. Ginger. And some ginger powder. Not too much. Just a little bit. About a teaspoon. Mix it all around. Ugh. I am way more of a cream sauce girl than I am a tomato sauce, like red sauce. Okay, so you're adding white wine then. And you're using that Peller Estate. What kind of white is that? Let me see. A Chardonnay, okay. Mm. Well, I'll be. <laughs> you weren't that light-handed with that now, were you? Yeah, that's lots of flavor. She buy me a cherry, but I'm not gonna put it in. Okay. It's white wine too. Okay, and I'm not familiar with sherry. What mm. is it? Oh, that smells very nice. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay, let me see what kind of wine this is. Me, oh, 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 oh. She don't even like it. it. That's so, so funny. I don't put a lot. Good. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> don't even it tastes like a little bit salty. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Better not mash up with something. No, man. There's nothing can go around here. Oh. No, I don't believe in that. Too confident. Too confident. Okay, so so daddy, you're just you're stirring on low heat. Yeah. And how long do you have to do this for? It's okay. I want it to come to a boil. Okay. I could turn up the heat right now. Okay. It's on a small burner. Okay. It's on high. When it comes to a boil, now I turn it down. Okay. Medium. I'm gonna put some. Okay, so we're adding parm. Mm -hmm. Can't have enough of that either. Delicious. And obviously you guys can use fresh parmesan if you'd like. We're using craft. But this is my favorite shake on parm. My favorite ever since I was small. And you stir and you stir and you stir. How do you know when it's time to not stir anymore? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know because I feel like we've been stirring. Mm -hmm. I'm just stirring the flavor and all the spices that I put in. Okay. I put the Parmesan cheese right in and I stir it in. And then the from color at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Everything just come together. So this is, yeah, this is the love part. Stirring it with love and yeah. patience and time. No, I'm going to taste it. Okay. I, I didn't put any salt in it yet, so you're going to be fresh. Definitely need salt. So we were just having a discussion. So the, the sauce is actually good now, but Daddy, remember when we put this in? So I guess we didn't realize how it tasted. I just tasted it myself. Uh, gross. <laughs> Thank God, like he didn't put too much. Um, but the Peller Estate Chardonnay for the rescue, okay? Really funny. Stay away from that. Sherry. Wait. Is it Sherry or is it Fury? And you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put you back there. You can stay right over there. That is scary. <laughs> yeah, scary, not Sherry. Scary. scary. <laughs> oh 
Lord of mercy. <laughs> Daddy, that's dangerous. Pass me, pass me the fish. Okay. Okay. Salmon. Oh, what's going on here? The hand <laughs> heavy. That's what's going on. Yo, you guys, are you seeing this guy right now? Too much muscle. He's out there working out every day. It's the, it's the, it's, it's, it's these. It's these bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, God, guys. If you could smell this. Yeah. Oh, okay. One second. Okay. Oh, the shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, the shrimp. Okay, shrimps on the other side. The ying to the yang. Oh, both of these are so good. I cannot wait. By the way, you guys, this is coming to a slight boil here. So what does that mean, Daddy? Keep stirring it. You guys, you guys, you guys, you gotta become thick. So the stirring helps it get thick. Parmesan cheese, yeah. Parmesan okay. cheese is in it. Okay. It's um, medium low. Medium low. All right. Back over to the good stuff. Okay. Oh. Well. Should we probably someone cook the same thing because they are easy. Easy to cook, you guys. So if you're not familiar, for those of you guys who are familiar, you're familiar. But if you aren't familiar with cooking salmon and cooking shrimp, they are typically shorter to cook. You know, they don't take as long as maybe say chicken or beef. Beef, um, beef takes longer to eat than chicken, right? Ready? But. Um, or what depends on how you like your meat, yeah. Some people like it raw. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Some people cook their steak blue. Yeah. It's raw meat. Raw meat. I mean, I'm sorry. I'll do medium. Daddy, you, you kind of grew us up. You always made our steaks like medium, I feel. Medium well. Yeah, I think you say medium well, but I think it's more on the medium side. Mm -hmm. yeah, what is it? That's why now I can't have a medium steak, like tough, tough meat. I mean, not, sorry, uh, a well done steak. Tough, tough meat. See? I have to have my steak medium or the most medium well. I like my beef. Well done. Since when, Daddy? You always used to cook it medium, medium well. Okay, yeah, so you changed your mind over the years, is what you're yes, saying. Yes. You know, if you eat beef at all. In a long time, I don't cook any meat here. Cut, cut, cut your tongue. <laughs> A lot of people like it like that in the center though, right? So there's this lady that that would come into the restaurant all the time and she'd be like, oh, you guys sure know how to overcook salmon. And we'd be like, okay. And she'd get supposed to be a pink cool center. And I'm like, maybe in your bougie restaurant, but over here we do it well done. <laughs> No, but they would. They they were told that they have to cook it. Like at that at the restaurant level, they had to cook it well done, all the way through. She would be so pissed off about it. Mm, I want a piece of salmon. Are you sure those are done, Lily? I feel like they're a little underdone. Yeah, but they're gonna go in the sauce. Oh, and they're gonna cook more. Yeah. It's 
still want one that's well done. Leave that one behind to me. Yeah. Good. And one trim. <laughs> to marry it. Can't be by itself. Last in the oil for me. Oh yeah, my friend for me. Look at us. Oh hey. Got my eye on you. My little baby, my little baby. Yes, I can't wait to pop this in my mouth. Feel the garlic falling off of it. It's so pretty. So daddy decided that he's gonna be adding cornstarch to the sauce because he wants to thicken it up a little fiesta, a little more. Right daddy? So that's what we're gonna be doing. Aren't you guys proud of me? Those fake nails are off of my hands now. I'm not gonna make you make you guys get too close because you know, it's not all that dealt with, but it's being dealt with. Cornstarch with a little bit of cold water. Ooh, I'm learning. From the last video, guys, if you guys haven't watched the barbecue chicken in the oven tutorial, then you're missing out. Um, but in the gravy one, I learned that you add a little bit of cold water to cornstarch and then add it to the sauce to thicken it up. So I remember. But I'm, gonna, I'm still going to let him do it. <laughs> all right. Look at all the shrimp. Look at all the shrimp and salmon. Oh my. My, my, my. You got me saying that. Yeah. Oh, oh, and into the same pot, right, Daddy? Mushrooms and broccoli. Into the same time with the garlic and the seasoning, all of that, you guys. All of that. y'all everything gets seasoned everything gets seasoned okay we don't do bland around here okay we don't do that all right there's no cold water in that yet Betty. Mm -hmm. okay <laughs> So he just added some water to the cornstarch in the bowl. And he's mixing it up. Specifically cold water. Interesting. And you continue to stir. I remember you said this is very important. Look at this. What? What? Put me in. I'm confused. Oh, you forgot all your other stuff. Funny. <laughs> My onions. 
my green onion, my pepper, and my garlic. <laughs> Look well. <laughs> Look behind you. Okay, Betty. I saw it for some time. Guys, that's the real. That is the real. Sometimes you turn around and you're like, oh, God, what come in the box? With the onion, what? And you have to come and save the day. At least you saved the day. Because what is anything without onions? See what I do? I cut my broccoli small so I don't have to blanch them, I just saute them. Okay. Yeah. I really like bite sized broccoli. Huh? I like when my broccoli is like, you know, the perfect size to just tackle. Everything. I just had a mushroom Everything. and. Mm, mm, mm. What's next, Daddy? Who's next? Go, go, What's go. What's next? When yep. it's ready, I pour the shrimp and the salmon in. Okay, alright, we're gonna get that shrimp and, then, and get that set. Your pasta. And then the pasta, which has already been pre boiled, guys. We boiled it from ahead of time. Well, not we. Daddy boiled it from ahead of time because he was waiting for me and he knew that it would probably be smart. Kudos to you, Daddy. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go get that salmon and that shrimp and we're gonna be right back. Fresh oregano. Go in the sauce. It's gonna go in the sauce. Shout out to Liana from Liana's Garden. Oh, <laughs> mercy. Straight from her home. I can only imagine how you feel right now. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. And I'm not trying to diss because your family and all, you know, if you were here, you would be eating too, but. <laughs> when mm. I roll in back. <laughs> Father? <laughs> so extra. Only you could give the display. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Straight from Gavin. 
straight from the Father. Lord of mercy. <clears throat> okay, so I want to know what's next? Turn the heat off. It's off. Okay, so what's happening over here? Just waiting for my glass. Not thick enough yet. You want it thicker? Yeah. Okay. So we keep stirring, right? Corn starch. Can't find the second bottle, you guys. <laughs> We're out of black pepper today. Can't find the bo the other bottle of corn starch, but that's okay because that's what it's like cooking in a real kitchen. This ain't no fake TV. Oh, you're fine. All right. So Brand now new. we get the party popping. Brand new, good for you. Okay. Let's do this. 100% pure corn starch. Wonderful. Back into the bowl again. More than he did last time. Because I guess that's what the whole plan was. It was supposed to be like that. Add in some water to this. Cold water. Cold water to be specific. Mix it up. Mix it on up. No lumps in it. No lumps, no bumps. You dig? Yeah. We dig. Alright. I don't know why I keep holding the phone like a baby or something. Here it goes. This is the magic. This is the magic. Okay, so now it's gonna get thick. I'll take that. See that? Already. Already it's thicker. Sounds different, looks different. Just need the right amount of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that you guys get to follow along like in real time for this stuff. I always say that, but I, I actually, I think it's cool because you get to get a sense of how long something actually can take. And a lot of you guys always message and say, I love that we get to watch it in real time. There's not a lot of that out anymore. So I'm glad that we can deliver that for you guys. All right, so this is Mommy's Pot. Mommy's Pot is separate because, you know, it's gluten-free. You guys should know this about Mommy already. Um, and then ours. <laughs> gonna be delicious and full of glue. What are you looking for, Daddy? Found it. You wanted a ladle. I think that's enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Gluten-free version. Fusili. Hold on. Yeah. All right. So now for the putting it all together. Into the pot. Sauce is over here, looking all thick. Look at it, look at it, looking all thick and thing. Showing off, okay? 
heat is on medium over here. Pasta is about to be added to the equation. What? Lip? Sauce? I thought pasta first. Sorry guys, it's like I'm turning the pot and I turned the whole form. <laughs> I got mesmerized for two seconds, you know? By the sauce. You gotta get all the sauce out. Do you blame him? I just tasted a bite. It's delicious. Delicious. Like you can taste the wine. And I love that I can kind of taste the wine in my cream sauce, like mm, white wine cream sauce. Mm. Okay, now for the pasta. We don't do overcooked pasta on this side. The al dente is how we like it. Soft buffer. She not like pasta. She, she like she. <laughs> yeah, just excuse my parents having conversations in the back, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm looking at them like so. Do you forget that? Feeling or <laughs> but you know what you can't you can't fake these things again you just can't fake the fuck they're thinking about who they're gonna give food to this is real this is real no fake we don't do fake out here okay this is so good guys honestly i'm just ready for him to be like okay it's done so i can show you guys the ending so i can eat because this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Shrimp, salmon, mushrooms, broccoli, onions, and a white wine cream sauce made from scratch, seasoned to perfection. Come on, man. Were you gonna put it on a plate or a bowl? I think we need to put it uh, in a bowl, maybe? Maybe a bowl, yeah. Peace and love always.